from KETK, you're watching East Texas Live. Back to East Texas Live on KETK. Joining us now, Debbie Isham with the Tyler Parks and Recreation Department. We are talking about some events coming up in the Rose City. Good morning and thanks for being with us. Thank you. Uh, of course. So, uh, first thing that we want to talk about, the Ice Bowl Tournament, right? So, yes. we're flinging discs to help in hunger. What can you tell me all about it? It is hard to believe I've been doing this for 18 years. And it started back in 2006 with just an idea for bringing that tournament here. It's nationwide, now it's even international. Um, over six million dollars have been raised through the years to give mostly to food banks. And here um, it's always fun. The guys just come out and play, even in shorts, we've played in sleet, rain. And tomorrow it will not rain while we're out there. <laughs> well, I was going to ask you, uh, one thing I wrote down is y'all say no wimps. No whiners. We play no matter what. And that's a hard, fast rule? Yes. Well. Now, if the roads are icy, it's questionable. Oh, all right, all right. I will make sure to know that <laughs> before <laughs> sending some of the wimpy, whiny people I know. There we go. There we there. go. Um, so uh, what skill level do we need uh, if we're going to come out and take part in that? We have five different divisions, youth, women, recreational players, advanced, and pro. So they can sign up for one of those, and we do uh, give awards for second and third for each one of those. We play on two different courses, mm -hmm. Cedar and Dogwood. So those of you who know Lindsay Park, those are our two courses that we'll be playing on. And so uh, where are all those proceeds going from this? Almost all of it goes to the food bank. We do have to pay for the event itself, but everything else goes to uh, the East Texas Food Bank, and we've raised a little over $168,000 wow. through the years, and that does not count the canned food items that are also donated. So we're going for 700 pounds tomorrow. We want to collect that many canned food Breaking items. Breaking a record there? Yes, it was 625 last year, but my goal is 700. All right, well, uh, how do we get in on that fund? Can we just show up or do we need to do some pre-registration? At this point, uh, you can just show up and register starting at nine, tea times at 10 um, with all the rules. And we do have a bunch of sponsors who have helped us um, and it is on our website, tylerparksandrec.com. All right, really quickly, we got the Arbor Day uh, tree planting is also happening this weekend. How can we get involved in that? Yes, it's going to be at Fun Forest Park. We've got 120 trees to plant. It's a part of the Tree City USA. It's our certification that we have, and so by doing events like this, um, really helps. And so they can just show up at 9, register, and they start planting trees at 10. All right, and it's not a bring your own tree. You show up, no, they, they've we, got all we've the, got trees, the trees. And they're going to feed you too, right? Yes, there is some food. Really quickly, the corporate challenge registration open until March 30th. How many different events we got going we've for got that? 14. Okay. And, and I hear it's quite fun to compete in as It well. is. You can be a passive type person <laughs> or you can go for all out. So from cornhole trivia. To basketball. Well, yeah, I'm very competitive, so I, I <laughs> might have to go all out. And then okay. the girls' softball, uh, Tyler Girls Softball League registration is open as well. Yes, and it's through February the 3rd, so it's for girls ages 4 to 14. I played for 30 years, so I'm happy to see this. All right, really quickly, if we got more events happening, where can we go to take a look at those? TylerParksAndRec.com. All right, perfect. Well, we appreciate you being on today. We'll get that information posted on KETK.com. Coming up next, we'll take a final a look at that seven day forecast. Stay with us.